Greetings everyone, this is Sean Van Deveen back with another astrology video for you. It's great to see you all once again. Today I'm going to talk about a rather difficult planetary placement, yet its energies can be very transformative, not only for the native, but for everyone else around them. Yes, I'm going to discuss the positive and negative characteristics of Saturn in Scorpio. As a highly karmic planet, Saturn often brings hard lessons one must learn in their present lifetime. It especially brings hardship when placed in the sign of the Scorpion. I'm here to explain the details. So, pull up a seat, sit back, and enjoy this presentation. To better understand this placement, we need to break it down. In astrology, Saturn is the planet of discipline, sobriety, maturity, old age, wisdom, caution, tradition, conservatism, authority, rules and regulations, government, fear, and responsibility. It is personified by the elderly, law enforcement, judges, government buildings, courthouses, the general workplace environment, and parenthood. The zodiac sign of Scorpio, on the other hand, represents transformation, sexuality, secrecy, seductiveness, and rebirth. Therefore, whenever these two entities intertwine in astrological birth charts, individuals born under this influence will grow up to be even more secretive than your typical Scorpio native. Saturn in Scorpio is very intense, deep, and reluctant to trust other people. Yet they are highly ambitious, no matter how much trauma they've suffered. Saturn in Scorpio is very cautious about revealing their own plans to others, as they believe suspected enemies can exploit the opportunity to use these plans against them. Due to their deep secretive nature, they make excellent undercover agents. They can infiltrate criminal hideouts, expressing interest in joining a gang, only to report activities back to police headquarters. In wartime, Saturn and Scorpio natives make excellent spies, scouts, or anything to do with reconnaissance. They can get the job done under the most brutal of circumstances and leave without a trace. Even with restrictive Saturn placed in Scorpio, she can't fully mitigate the Scorpion's intense gravitational pull. The sheer determination of these natives can make them dogged to the point of ruthlessness. They do not display bouts of passion or anger as readily than fire signs. They keep them submerged in the murky, watery depths, since Scorpio is a water sign. If pushed to the limit, however, their hostility will boil over those causing them harassment, leaving them to suffer without remorse. Since Saturn plays a karmic influence and is the fatherly teacher of astrology, the main lesson for these natives is to learn to let go of hate. Seeking revenge against those who've wronged them in the past will only deepen the black hole. Saturn in Scorpio needs to learn to forgive and let go of the painful past and look ahead to a brighter future. If they can master this, then they can become excellent healers or spiritual counselors, teaching others how to heal themselves and fully embrace the sanctity of life. Scorpio is also the sign of sexuality, and with Saturn placed here, these natives may have also experienced trauma through intimate relationships. Either they've tried to overdominate their partners, or they were the ones who suffered the abuse. Since the desire for control is especially predominant with Saturn and Scorpio, these individuals may have a hard time letting go of their exes after a breakup. If their partner was the one who initiated it, then Saturn and Scorpio may try to stalk them, spying on where they go, obtaining information on who they meet afterwards. When it comes to marriage, they may go into mourning for an especially long period of time after their beloved passes away. Saturn and Scorpio is loyal to the point they may never let anyone special to them go. As I've alluded to, these natives must learn to move on to better pastures and that death for everyone is inevitable. Saturn in Scorpio is very modest and humble, yet craves attention. They seek achievement in any endeavor they seek, 
but will only give a polite award acceptance speech rather than a boastful one. Hence, Saturn and Scorpio natives are not the friendliest or outgoing people, yet their cunning resolve makes them diligent in accomplishing their goals. They dream big, and once they've chosen their life purpose, they pursue it relentlessly. Celebrities born with Saturn and Scorpio include Gal Gadot, Scarlett Johansson, Emily Blunt, Kira Knightley, Dennis Quaid, Kathleen Turner, and James Cameron. The weight of Saturn's strength is also dependent upon any aspects made with other planets, in addition to the degree within Scorpio she rests. If the natives were born between 0 to 5 degrees of Scorpio, they're beginning to learn how to cope with Saturn in Scorpio energies in their present incarnation. If Saturn is 25 to 30 degrees in Scorpio, they are then mastering them. It also depends which house Saturn is located that plays a big factor. If Saturn is sitting in the 8th house, which is ruled by Scorpio, then these energies will be amplified twofold. To summarize, Saturn and Scorpio people are cunning and relentless in their aims, and their secretive, reserved nature makes them the plotters among us. They are not to be trifled with, and if others are foolish enough to get in their way, Saturn and Scorpio will be sure to give a venomous sting. So, this has been my analysis of Saturn and Scorpio. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a comment. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I appreciate all the love and support you give, and it helps my channel to grow to wider audiences. I'll close by saying peace, much love, and namaste. Thank you for watching, God bless you, and I'll see you in the next video. Godspeed.